What are the treatment options for prostate cancer? What is the ideal line of treatment protocol? When chemotherapy is to be done? Who is an who is an ideal candidate for surgery? Nuclear therapies, that is PSMA therapy, who is a candidate and when to be done? We will be discussing all these questions today. Hi, myself Dr. Swagat Dash. I am the head of the department Nuclear Medicine and Molecular Theranostics, Arvodai Hospital, Faridabad, India. Number one, that is the treatment of prostate cancer. Most of the prostate cancer to start with, they are confined to the prostate gland. They are indolent in nature. So nothing active to be done, actively to be done. Only regular follow and watchful. You need to be watchful and you need to do regular follow-up. That is the most common thing if the uh, primary tumor is small and that is confined to the prostate gland only. What we call this a local disease. If that is locally advanced, that means the tumor cells which have grown inside the prostate and it may have involved lymph nodes adjacent to the prostate, this is we call local disease locally advanced in such cases local treatment has to be done local treatment can be done in form of surgery or in form of radiotherapy so what are surgical options available number one radical prostatectomy that means removing the prostate entirely the prostate from the body that can be done through incision over the body it can be done through laparoscopy also or through robotic surgery also. But the side effects are urinary incontinence and sexual dysfunction, erectile dysfunction. These are the prominent side effects of robotic or open radical prostatectomy. Then another surgery is done that is bilateral orchidectomy. Why? Because as you know prostate cancer is male hormone responsive cancer and male hormone is being produced within the testicles. So, if we remove the testicles, the male hormone level in the body will decline and so the cancer cells will decline. So, bilateral, both the testicles are being removed which is known as bilateral orchidectomy. Another surgical procedure is being done that is TURP that is transurethral resection of prostate. This is not a curative surgery but it relieves you of urinary symptoms. Usually when the prostate gland uh, enlarges, it obstructs your urinary flow. So TURP get, gets this obstruction relieved. So these are the kind of surgeries available for local treatment. The local treatment, the main role is of radiotherapy. Radiotherapy can be done from externally, that is the external beam radiotherapy, two types either SBRT or IMRT or it can be done internally through brachytherapy. Another new upcoming modality in radiotherapy is proton beam therapy. So if any localized prostate cancer and you are planning for radiotherapy, you should discuss all these options with your radiation oncology doctors. He or she will be better in a better position to explain you what is the role of radiotherapy and what are the side effects. The main side effect of radiotherapy is radiation to the surrounding organ of prostate like urinary bladder, rectum. So you may get inflammation of your urinary bladder, inflammation of your rectum. So these are the side effects of radiotherapy. Now coming down to systemic therapy. When the disease has grown beyond the prostate and beyond the pelvis to any other organ in the body, it may be bone, lung, liver or intra-abdominal lymph nodes, then local therapy will not work. In such scenario, one may need the systemic therapy. There are various types of systemic therapies. Most important is hormonal therapy. As I have already explained, prostate cancer is male hormone responsive tumor. So hormonal therapy is the mainstay of systemic therapy. What are the hormonal therapies? Since the male hormone is being produced in testicles, the drug, the medicine which prevents the testicle from producing male hormones, these are either degarelics or luprolite. 
these are the two drugs they inhibit the synthesis of uh, male hormone in the testicles then a, next is androgen receptor inhibitor that is enzalutamide then androgen pathway inhibitor that is abiraterone so these are the type of hormonal therapies that are being offered in uh, prostate cancer systemic treatment uh, medical oncologist will be an appropriate person to describe on this and to clarify on this the next line of treatment comes is targeted therapy targeted therapy these are the drugs which targets the micro environment of the tumor and they kill the tumor the most common drug which is used in prostate cancer is olaparin the next comes immunotherapy immunotherapy what it does it enhances the immune cells of our body to fight the cancer in prostate cancer cell t is that type of treatment which enhances the uh, immunity in innate immunity of the body to fight the cancer cells next is bone modifying agent as you must be aware that prostate cancer is a tumor which is most commonly spread to the bones so if there is osteoporosis or osteomalacia or because of any reason bones are weak and the prostate cancer spread to these bones then there is a high likely chance that patient will get pathological fracture so to prevent this bone modifying agents are used in prostate cancer these are either zolendronic acid or denosumab next comes the nuclear therapy nuclear therapy in prostate cancer there are two types number one whether if the prostate cancer has already spread to the bone and there is extensive skeletal metastasis patient is experiencing excruciating pain then we have option to get the patient relief of pain that is bone pain palliation this can be done with samarium which is a radioisotope bone seeking radioisotope it goes to the all the tumors in the bone and it radiates the bone that tumor cells in the bone and the patient's pain gets relieved so this is samarium another is lutetium 177 labeled zolendronate another bone seeking agent these two agents they can get rid of you of bone pain so these are pain palliating procedure these are not exactly curative procedures another is psma based radio ligand therapy this is a nuclear therapy which is aimed at prostate cancer cells within the prostate and spread to the surrounding lymph nodes and other part of the body so this is almost a curative treatment it gives radiation to the prostate cancer cells which are inside the prostate and it also gives radiation internal radiation to all the metastatic spread inside the body wherever they are whether there is bone or lymph node or liver or lung or brain so this is the psma based radio ligand therapy in which we use usually two type of radio isotope either that is beta emitting lutetium 177 or alpha radiation emitting actinium 225 all these indications all these treatment protocols actually being decided on a multidisciplinary tumor board for individualized patient in that tumor board medical oncologist will be there surgical oncology radiation oncologist radiologist pain palliation palliation specialist and nuclear medicine physician they they decide on a particular patient that patient what is the best treatment protocol for this patient and that patient uh, gets that treatment so for prostate cancer patients whenever you are planning to get the treatment for prostate cancer approach such a hospital which is which are specialized prostate cancer units comprising of medical oncologist surgical oncologist radiation oncologist urologist and nuclear medicine physician so you get comprehensive treatment under one roof if you have liked our video then you can share with your friends relatives or any other uh, you may feel they they may get benefit out of it and please subscribe to our channel we will be coming up with much more such videos such medical related videos in future thank you so much